Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Uh, looking at my ingredient today, you probably have guessed what do I want to cook tonight. I'm going to cook uh, Jiang Chong Zhu Rou. Um, stir fry pork with spring onion and ginger. And today I actually choose to use pork belly. You can use any, uh, any parts of the pork, yeah, up, totally up to you. I have probably about 250 grams here, cut into slices. Uh, and of course I have some spring onion and ginger. Um, spring onion, we will cut it into uh, strips like this, yeah. And then we have the ginger. I have quite a few, about 10 pieces, 10 slices of ginger here. And if you really want to get the flavor right, you need to use young ginger. Uh, if you tell Appa, Appa, if I don't have young ginger and I only have old ginger at home, how ah? It's okay lah. It's your home dinner. You use whatever you have. But if you really want to get the right flavor, you should get uh, young ginger. Because young ginger, you go for the, you choose young ginger because you want the uh, ginger aroma. You choose old ginger because you want the spiciness. And I also have a bit of uh, chopped uh, garlic there. Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Appa's video. Let's marinate the pork. I'm going to give it a little bit of light soy sauce. A bit of my uh, cooking Appa natural chicken stock powder and one more thing which is uh, garlic oil you can use any vegetable oil you have but if you have garlic oil by all means now why is it you want to add in some oil when we are marinating the meat is because uh, by using the oil later when you stir fry it can be stir fry very easily all the meat will be separated very very fast right because of the oil secondly if you are using garlic oil like appa basically uh, it is going to season pre-season the uh, pre-season the pork with garlic flavor give it a bit of vegetable oil and we are going to um Saute ginger and also garlic. I'll add in the white portion of the onion. Wow, very fragrant already. Next thing we are going to add in the marinated pork. Let me double check on the focus. Yep, all right. Papa is also the videographer. <laughs> so sometimes you may, you may be seeing, hey, how come the focus uh, went off and I did not realize because I was cooking. <laughs> See, so easy to stir fry because I added oil in the marinade just now. <laughs> now I'm going to add in some, give it some seasoning. So I'm going to tune down the fire first. This is a very good habit. Always tune down the fire when you are about to add in the seasoning. Yeah? I'll put in some uh, saucing wine, some oyster sauce, a little bit of light soy sauce. See? <laughs> it went off again. <laughs> some salt, and I'll give it some sugar. Then I will add in some hot water. So here's the hot water. And I'm going to raise the heat to medium high. You can choose to add in uh, dark soy sauce. That one is really for the color. You decide yourself. I will also decide later whether I want to add dark soy sauce or not. If I find the color a little bit too plain, then I will. So now it is boiling. I will let it boil for a couple of minutes, very fast, the meat will get cooked. So this is after about 3-4 minutes simmering. I'm going to add in a little bit of dark soy sauce, just a little bit for the colour. Right. 
give it a few stir and also not forgetting the spring onion wow and I'm, I'm going to off the fire and add in some starch solution let me see if it's enough or not Okay, I can put in a little bit more. Alright. Done. You can actually add in a little bit of sesame oil or garlic oil right now, right before serving. Alright, so here's about very simple stir fry uh, pork belly with gin uh, ginger, young ginger and spring onion. I hope you like my video. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Up Our Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on the Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up Our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.